In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the love and mercy of God be with you. Let us pray. Tear up our hearts, O Lord, to make ready the path of your only begotten Son, that through his coming we may be found worthy to serve you with the minds made pure. Lord, may you open our interior eyes, our interior ears, so that we may see in your word, we may listen to you in your word. And may we as well listen to our brothers and sisters' needs, so that we may ably respond to them according to your will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 11, verses 11 to 15. At that time, Jesus said to the crowds, Truly, I said to you, among those born of women, there has arisen no one greater than John the Baptist. Yet, he who is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven has suffered violence, and men of violence take it by force for all the prophets, and the law prophesied until John. And if you are willing to accept it, he is Elijah who is to come. He who has ears to hear, let him hear the gospel of the Lord. My dear good listener, a good Thursday of Advent to you. From the gospel we have heard, I've chosen the theme, interior deafness is worse than physical deafness. My dear good listener, Today's text ends when Jesus is telling us, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. While commenting on this text, Pope Francis says that interior deafness is worse than physical deafness. All of us listen. All of us can hear. All of us have ears to hear. Yet many times we do not hear. We do not listen to others. We do not listen to the needs of our brothers and sisters who stay with us. Many times we are given the advice, but we refuse to listen. Something enters from the other ear and passes out from the other one. And so we do not become men and women who walk the talk. Many times we only talk. We may preach even, we may become the best preachers. But do we listen to what God is saying today? That's why Israel was used to this phrase. Oh, Israel, if you listen to the voice of the Lord, do not harden your hearts. Many times we harden the hearts. We do not listen. That's why Jesus is telling us that from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven has suffered violence. And men of violence take it by force. My dear good listener, we use force when we do not listen. If we listen to God, we wouldn't use our human power. We would use God's power. So the problem is refusing to listen. And how do we listen to God's voice? It is through prayer. It is by becoming humble and going to listen to him in prayer. God is a living God. That's why in Exodus chapter 3, God who appears to Moses, he manifests himself as a God of Abraham, a God of Isaac, and a God of Jacob. He is a God of the living. He's not a God of the dead. And therefore, since he is a God of the living, he is a God who speaks. But the question is, do we have time to listen to God? Do we have time to pray? There is something that usually touches me. For example, if you read Luke chapter 6, verse 12, you will find that Jesus would go to the mountains and would pray the whole night. He would go to pray to listen to God. You read Matthew chapter 4. Jesus went into the desert for 40 days and 40 nights to pray, to listen to God before he began doing 
his public ministry. So the question is, if Jesus had a lot of time to pray, to listen to his father, to be in communion with his father, how much do I pray? My dear good listener, the same we find in Matthew chapter 15, where Jesus tells his disciples in verse 17 to 20, Can't you see that whatever goes into the mouth passes through the stomach and is discharged into the sewer? But whatever comes out of the mouth comes from the heart, and it is this that makes someone unclean. For from the heart come even intentions, murder, adultery, fornication, theft, perjury, slander. These are the things that make a person unclean. But eating with unwashed hands does not make anyone unclean. So my dear good listener, spiritual deafness is worse than physical deafness. And this interior deafness comes from the heart. So today let us examine our hearts. Do I really see? Do I really listen? How do I listen? That's the question that the Holy Father asks. How do I listen? My dear good listener, we can also pick a leaf from St. Faustina. When we read her diary, number 1552, she says, Then I heard the words, As you are united with me in life, so will you be united at the moment of death. After these words, such great trust in God's great mercy was awakened in my soul that even if I had heard the sins of the whole world as well as the sins of all the condemned souls weighing on my conscience, I would not have doubted God's goodness, but without hesitation would have thrown myself into the abyss of the divine mercy, which is always open to us. And with a heart crushed to dust, I would have cast myself at his feet, abandoning myself totally to his holy will, which is mercy itself. My dear good listener, we see here that St. Faustina listened to the words, and you can imagine she makes this resolve that even if she was carrying sins of all the condemned souls weighing on her conscience, she would not doubt God's goodness, that without hesitation, she would throw herself into the abyss of divine mercy. Why? Because she trusted God's mercy. She trusted God's love. She trusted God's goodness. My dear good listener, for us to spiritually glow, for us to commune with God, for us to listen to God, we need to know that our God is a God of love and mercy. He's a good fool of goodness. And that's why he is sending you and me to listen to the world today, to read and listen the signs of the times and be able to thieve, be able to know the will of God and do it. May we today set out to listen to what God is saying through the creation, through our brothers and sisters, through the advice they are bringing to us. Let us listen. God wants to speak to us and wants to speak to us daily for He is a living God. The Lord be with you. And may the God of love and mercy bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. For the sea.